Ajpay and moving on now to an interview with another key BJP leader who could be, of course, technically an erstwhile BJP leader very soon, Jaswan Singh. Jaswan Singh is joining us from Barmer, where he has, of course, filed his nomination papers. He has gone on record today to criticize Narendra Modi and to talk about how angry he is with the BJP. Jaswan Singh, I'd like to start by asking you, you said today that you would not say goodbye to the party. The party would have to say goodbye to you. Are you daring the party to expel you? I'm very sorry that uh, the party president, Sri Rajnath Sindhi, found fit to tell me as to what had been cleared by the legislators, etc. And the matter of the uh, candidature from Jodh, uh, from Parbet Jaisalmer, uh, that I was not the candidate that uh, he chose. Uh, others in the party have expressed views about them, but I don't want to bring that in the picture. Here there's a great sense of outrage at the injustice that is implied by the step, not implied, but directly conveyed by such a step because uh, the person chosen by the party, both the state and the central party, uh, is somebody who was up till lately, by which I mean the last assembly elections, a member of the Congress party. And he lost the election to the BJP. He's a losing congressman whom, most unfortunately, uh, the state unit of the party and uh, the central uh, leadership uh, chose to uh, award the candidatures of uh, Badmer Jesme. This has, uh, this has really upset the people here. And what I have therefore experienced since yesterday is such an outpouring of outrage against the conduct of the BJP uh, that I am, I, in my entire experience of the BJP, I have never ever witnessed such an outrage. But, but if I can just interrupt, what I want to ask you is, you have, of course, been, you have of course been expelled in the past. Would you say that in this moment you are more hurt or more angry or both? Both, really. I was hurt at the injustice uh, when I was first told by the party president that this is his decision. But I ought to have really been, I ought to have really known that this is how he will behave because he has earlier also conveyed the ex my expulsion from the party on the telephone. I did tell him, this is the second time you are doing it, Rajnath Sindhi. Why you do it, I don't know. I was hurt because it's very insulting. I'm not a chaprasi that you convey on the telephone. Uh, this is our decision. And I was also angry. Yes, you're right. And these are the reasons for both my hurt and my anger. Mr. Singh, you've spoken a lot about the role of Rajnath Singh and his telephone calls to you. But what do you have to say about Mr. Modi? Mr. Modi is the BJP's prime ministerial candidate, clearly the supreme leader in the party today. Do you believe he too had a role in not granting you a ticket and leaving you uh, today in this position? No, I don't know whether his role to play or doesn't have a role. That's really for Rajnath Singh and him uh, or the state chief minister uh, to answer because I'm not privy to their decision making. It seems that the after what I heard uh, Shimti Sushma Swaraj say what she did, it seems that the coterie of decision makers in the party um, has rather shrunk. Who they are uh, is for uh, you and your uh, indefatigable correspondents to identify. You said today that Namo Namo, the chant reminds you of the emergency years. Are you essentially saying that the BJP uh, has become, in your opinion, too focused on one individual, Narendra Modi? Yes, I did. I think an interview was taken by Economic Times, in which I did say that Namo Namo represents a, really a veneration of a personality, but which I had, um, I didn't, but my wife had protested earlier when uh, Srimati Sushma and uh, Srimati Vasundra Raje was depicted as a goddess and showering flowers on all the legislators at sector and she'd filed a case for which uh, perhaps I have been held responsible, not at all. 
she went and met Mr. Advani and said, this is wrong. She said, I am a devout Hindu, I believe you cannot diminish God by treating human beings as Godheads. Namo is a chant which precedes uh, any, any Godhead's veneration, but principally more of uh, Shankar, also Vishnu and others. So I don't know how you can convert a human, human being into somebody whose greetings become Namo. I don't know. It's a tendency that the BJP ought to reflect on. I cannot agree to it, I'm afraid. Mr. Singh, you have been expelled before, as you yourself have spoken about. Nitin Gutkari brought you back at that time. If the party were to reach out to you, let's say before the last date for you to withdraw your nomination, do you still believe a compromise is possible? No, I didn't. It's kind of you to say all this. But it's not really the party president who... Rajnan Singh was still the president. But then he changed and it, uh, Nitin, she, Nitin Gadkari came. He took the initiative and also uh, Mr. Advani. They took the initiative to invite me back into the party against... I, I had many trepidations about it. Many people, uh, friends and relatives told me, don't go. There's a, this is a very different uh, BJP. But because I had never served in any other party, I've never had any aspiration to join any other party. Uh, so I went back. I'm afraid I've not had a happy uh, experience of it. So would it be fair to say that you do not see this crisis ending, that this is a point of no return for you? No, I don't see how I can go back where, from where I have been uh, expelled over a telephone twice. I think I would be a fool to think in terms of going back. Now there's a great deal of confusion because the BJP is saying that at the moment there is no disciplinary action against you, yet you say you have got that message on the telephone twice now in your innings in the BJP, so could you please clarify that? I know, I think the party that has to clarify. And, the, and Rajnath Singh tells me, no, 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 we have chosen this man who was until the other day a congress person and who abused us um, to his heart's content, then what have you done? You've not promoted me, and they're out to make statements like, we couldn't accommodate Mr. Jaswan Singh. We will accommodate, uh, says Rajnath Singh, after the election. What are you doing? Accommodating for what? I'm not trading, I'm not seeking any office. After having served uh, with Prime Minister Bajpai as the country's external affairs minister, Finance Minister, Defence Minister, Planning Commissioner, and various other ministries. What, am I, what do I seek? Which office? I don't seek any office, but I certainly have an aspiration of completing at least a decade of service in Parliament after I resigned from the Army. And I've done nine terms, and my aspiration was to do ten terms, which is really what I told my colleagues. Uh, Arvani ji is also Rajnath Singh, Sushma ji, and many others. Do you believe just once saying that there is an internal divide uh, now in the BJP between those who back Narendra Modi fully and those who have questioned him, people like LK Advani, like yourselves, like Sushma Swaraj, some would say, uh, even like Nitin Gadkari? No, I wouldn't put it in terms of personalities, but I certainly think the BJP's conceptual divide uh, divide over understandings, principles and concepts is certainly increasingly visible. It's not good either for the BJP or, if I believe, uh, for the country. Do you think it was correct for L.K. Advani to have accepted the decision to contest from Gandhi Nagar after publicly letting it be known uh, that he didn't want to, uh, that he preferred to contest from Bhopal? I really don't want to go into that because I don't know what reasons uh, persuaded him to do what he was asked to do. Besides, I don't know uh, my, my going to Gujarat, or, I have many relatives there, has really rather diminished lately. So I don't know what the ground reality is. These are decisions that he took in his best judgment and I wish him very well. 
Where does this leave your son, Mr. Jaswan Singh Manvendra, who's of course also with the BJP? Does he go your way or the party's way? No, no, he's, a, he's, an, he's an adult, he's grown up, he's created a place for himself in the party and in the politics of the country and as a journalist on his own and author. It's up to him and I'm sure I have faith in his ability to do so. So where do you go from here? No, no, I see myself going from here to Jaisalmer shortly and contesting an election. All right, Jaswan Singh, thanks so much for joining us on The Buck Stops here. And that brings us to an end of this episode of The Buck Stops here. Remember, tomorrow night we'll be broadcasting from a different part of the country. We're on the road to 2014 from the entire team. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.